nobody saw that. Chapter 9, Final Fantasia. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Chocobo Racing Adventures! Everyone is glowing because in the last episode, I accidentally pressed the start button without being prepared. Look! Our crystals are starting to glow! It's blinding me! We just went through this. Oh look, and his abnormally small pom-pom is glowing too. What the? My ultra fly head bopper is... <laughs> ultra fly head bopper. Don't tell me that it was a Magistite shirt all along. Didn't I call this? I'm pretty sure I called this. Or at least... I talked about a little bit. You have an ability. The laws of this game assume that you have a Magicite Shard. Ha! This is awesome! So I did have a crystal after all! Dot dot dot! Exclamation point! He's from Final Fantasy IX. Ultima? 
You don't mean the mad, the ultimate magic that the great wizard Ming Wu sealed away? Well, Ultima, ultimate, you know, it's not, it's not hard to figure out. Using a single Ultima stone will cause all other competitors to spin out of control. With two, all of your opponents will be made to crash. And three stones will cause all of your competitors to have a catastrophic crash. Catastrophic? That is the power that the Ultima Stones possess. But why were the Ultima Stones sealed away here? Because they're cheap? Holy crap. One stone makes everyone else spin out? What the hell? If you wish to learn the secret of Ultima, you must master the use of these stones and defeat me in a race. F -Zero is a, it's F-Zero logic. Whoosh. Alright, here we go. Um, Black Magician, thank you very much. And uh, I think Magic Plus will be very useful here. I don't even care what charge does. I'm pretty sure by the, uh, you know, just by the little picture that came with it, I can pretty much guess. Ooh, that's, uh, Leviathan. Ooh, are all the other espers going to be, like, just sort of laying around in the background? That's cool. Oh, I have an Ultima Stone. Oh, I used it, but, uh, I guess it didn't really matter because I fell. Whoa! Spinny, spinny, spinny! Spinny carbuncle! Uh, I think that's Angry Giants? Maybe it's Ifrit. That! Ah! Uh, well these are definitely Shiva. I don't know what that was. Is that Ultima? What was that? I guess it must be Ultima because it hit just about everybody. Uh, fairies. More carbuncles. That's definitely Rama. And, uh, if. Oh, I guess that's different. Then who's the other guy? God, I am sucking. Ah! Who is that? Look like uh, some guy on a horse. Maybe it's Odin. It's the only guy on a horse I know of. But didn't? Oh well, this is probably this is probably way before. Ah! This is probably before Final Fantasy VIII, so he wasn't killed by Gilgamesh yet, which still pisses me off because that was a horrible trade. He charged, but then he fell off the course. Ah, Bahamut behind me. No! Oh, the most useless thing on this course ever! Ah! See, I knew that was gonna happen. God, this place is so twisty and turny. And I can't help but look at the background because it's so pretty. Ah! Hi, Efrit. Haha, double Ultima. On your... On your face. It's like in your face, but on it. Because I missed. Oh, I'm so small. I was wondering why people were passing me. I'm like, oh, it's because I'm small. Oh, come on! The one place that has a frickin' rail and I fall in anyway. Ah! That was my own trap! Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, restart. This is the last lap anyway. I don't think it's possible for me to get back up. Ah! Most useless 
useless thing ever. Oh, come on! God, this place is way too twisty. Ah! I'm waving. I'm waving out of control and having a panic attack. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, damn it! Kaboom! Damn you, Bahamut! You're cheap! Oh, we're all so small. Shrinks, including me. Ow. Hi, Bahamut. You're so small. Uh, I can't blink. Can't blink. Can't blink. Don't blink. They're fast. Fast as you can bleed. Don't blink. Take this, Bahamut. You get for trying to get ahead of me while I'm not blinking. Oh, I should have held on to that for like another half second. Oh no, I'm so small. Double small. Biggie smalls. Is that a unicorn? I didn't notice that unicorn before. Huh. You're busy spinning wildly out of control. No, I don't know. Speak of the devil. And there he is. He's all red and stuff. Aha, a reflect stone. This is what I cheaply need. As long as no one steals it from me. Chubby Chocobo cast that, because he got it back. I win! Oh my god! Oh! That was really stupid. <coughs> Thank goodness it's over. <sighs> well done. You have passed my final test. I'm up here now. Do you know why the Magicite Crystal was broken into eight fragments? Head tilt? Head tilt? Because the great magician Ming Wu saw that it was... that it was... it was the cause of too much warfare. That is true. Matt, oh, this again! That is true. Mankind has fought over the Magicide for aeons. Only so that they could open the portal to Fantasia and exploit the magical power of the Espers for their own selfish purposes. For more information, see Final Fantasy VI. Those greedy humans, I tell you. 
You ought to talk. Fearful for the future of humans, the great magician Ming Wu and I chose to break the magicite crystals into pieces and scatter them throughout your world. That seems really stupid. If you don't want them to put it back together again, you shouldn't have put it in their world. So that the eight possessors, oh, so that the possessors of the eight crystal shards would not gather together. That seems really counterproductive. And open the portal to take hold of Fantasia. Really, really not helpful. We gave the eighth crystal to Behemoth to guard over. And he failed. Because he drives a tank. Those aren't known for speed. It was also at this time that the Ultima Stones were brought here, concealed in this realm. While people could still use Ultima outside of this realm, it was much harder. We had stones that could just sort of do it. This was done so that humans could no longer threaten other living things with the power of Ultima. So that's why the Ultima Stones are sealed away here. It was done out of loving concern for humans by the Great Mingwu and Lord Bahamut. Uh, no. If you listen to the story, it was out of love and concern for themselves. They got scared and hid. Correct. But now I look at you children, and I am pleasantly surprised. Because Bahamut's a pedophile? Chocobos. Moogles, golems, goblins, and humans, and whatever Black Mage is, or Bah, or Behemoth, all from different species that have been warring over the possession of the Magicite from time eternal. Everyone pose except for Black Mage. But now, you have come together and all over the world in peace and harmony. During the centuries that the portal of Fantasia has been sealed, the outer world appears to have changed for the better. Or, you know, these guys could just be children. Just saying. From this day forth, we shall keep the portal between our worlds open. Because it'd be too much of a pain to close it again. So I can watch over your world's future as well as ours. I suddenly want to be king of the universe and take over the world. Turns out Lord Bahamut is evil. Look at him, he's charging his mega flare. So, uh, what's gonna happen to the Magicite Crystal then? It is no longer needed. Its purpose has been fulfilled. Fantasia shall exist in harmony with your world from this day on. That doesn't answer the question at all. Oh, come on, what an experience we had. Oh, so we get nothing. Well, great. We got to meet Lord Bahama and the King of the Espers and change our world's destiny. Because Lord Bahama's going to kill us all. Way to go, gang. Well, show's over. Guess there's no use hanging around here then, I suppose. Oh, Lord Bahama, please watch over the world so that all living beings continue to live in peace under your iron-fisted rule. We promise to try and do our part so that you won't eat us. Because you're a giant dragon. And Black Mage is up there like, Oh, God. I was hanging around with these people. Sure, ladies and gents, Sugarbro and his friends adventuring had come to an end. They went back home to live with us human folk, and everything was just going hunky-dory. Hunky-dory. Well, there was one exception. A certain mover didn't get his happy in that he wanted. From the white mage. I, I didn't travel all that way just to come back empty-handed. I could have become filthy rich by selling that darn magistrate crystal. Give it up already! Shut up! I like 
did you better when you didn't talk? Whoosh! Oh, Mom. Well, that's it for my story, folks. When we meet again, I'll tell you another story about good old Chocobo and his pals. Going for a test flight of my new whirly bird now. Who knows? Maybe we'll be flying over your town real soon and dropping bombs and behemoths. If you see my plane, don't forget to wave your hands and say howdy. Chocobo, Mom, and the rest of the gang are gonna be coming along too. Even black mage and white mage, even though they can fly. So ne till next time, adios, amigos. Yeehaw! Behemoth is just sort of hanging on like, Dear God, help me! How did they get me on this thing? Well, there you go, everybody. That's it for my mini-play of Chocobo Racing. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I certainly did. Except for my brother, who probably has a few bruises now. But, that's not my fault. So, I'll see you guys next time. I guess we'll be going back to Final Fantasy IX, unless I think of another thing I want to do. It has sort of been a while. I might want to do another mini-sode. Uh, maybe not. I don't know if two mini-sodes is appropriate. Of course, then again, who cares? <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next time on whatever the heck I'm doing. Bye, everybody. Stone will cause all other competitors to spin out of control. All oh, you